Do you know we can see multiple locations in Google Map all together using Excel? We can even mark them with different place marks. You can even share them. It's free, it's easy, and it's amazing. So let's go through this masterpiece together. Hello there, this is Fariha Talbim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VB related answers. Here is a data set that will be added as per their address, labeled by employee names. We will discuss how to create a Google map with Excel data here using Excel 365. You can use other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In our first row, let's add our column headers. In column A, let's type name. Column B, street address, city, and state. Let's change their format from the home tab in font group. Let's make them bold, increase their font, and from the alignment group, let's choose center and middle aligned. Here, we will add our data for names and their corresponding addresses. You can add them manually or copy it from a draft source. We will copy it using Ctrl C and paste it here using Ctrl V. Now let's add all borders from Home tab and Font Group. All borders. Let's add a color for them. Let's go along with this one. Now we need to export the data set to create a Google Map. For that, we need to save the file first. You can go to the File tab to save the file or you can use Control s Now open any browser. We are using Google Chrome here. From the URL tab, type Google My Map. Select the first result here. Google My Maps is a service from Google that allows us to create our custom Google Maps. Let's create a new map. Go to the menu option and select create a new map. Here we can see the untitled map option. From here, let's import our Excel file. From this tab, select upload and browse to select the file. From our folder in the device, let's select our Excel file, which is Google map with Excel data dot XLSX. Open. Now, we can see that the dialog box is asking to choose columns to position your place marks. Now our addresses are street address, city and state. Continue. Now we want to choose a column to title our markers. Let's select name, finish. As we can see, the blue pins here show us the addresses. Let's zoom out a bit. Now from the menu, we can change the base map. Here we can see the base map has a drop down. We can see that there are many options. Now it's in map option. We can choose satellite or we can go along with simple atlas. To change the styles, click on the individual styles here. Here click on the group places by. Select name. Now we can see that the pins are colored according to names and it's easy to understand as we hover our cursor over the names here. To edit data, we need to open our table first. Go to the layer option and select open data table. Here you can change any of the data here or you can even add row. Let's change Eva. To Eve. Now you can see that Eve is changed from Eva. Now to share the locations, select this option here and add a map title. Let's say employee arenas. And for description, let's try see all the employee arenas are. 
Okay, now to share a map, we need to enable all of these links so that anybody with the link can view and search for the locations. Now click on this button to copy the link, link copied. Close. Now you can copy the link anywhere you want. Using these elaborate steps, you can easily create a Google map with Excel data. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create a Google map in Excel in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.